Sorry to fix my mic there. Okay, um, today I'm going to show you guys how to build a um, multiple exits in your map and how to do it properly. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be building three maps. So keep that in mind. First, let's. Uh, I guess we can do the main map first. That. I'll go one way and then I'll go the other way. Okay. Let's get our player starting here. Okay. Now this way, we're going to do. Can't set the map because we don't have any maps in here. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. This will be our game over. And we'll give us a one second delay. And then we're going to do the Out of the game. Now we have to save this level. You can name it what you want, by the way. I'm just labeling these in the one, two, and three. <coughs> We're gonna publish, get rid of these guys, so I'm not to still they with the uh, matchmaking. Publish. <coughs> Don't bother writing the code down. This level is not going to be up for a while, for very long. Okay, that's level one. I'm going to create level two. Small point here. Switch. That's just one, yeah. Again, we'll do our level select because we're going to go back and forth. Publish the other ones. Okay. End game. Uh, one second. Duh. Okay. Okay. So we'll save this as. I'll save it as L2. That way it doesn't involve the other maps. <clears throat> Exit. Okay, so that's level two. Let's go ahead and make level three. This one, uh, what a hell look. Okay, we got that. Put our switch 
here. Okay, let me go back to level one. I'll, I'll, I'll unpublish the other one. I'll show you guys how to do that. Seven. That's the one I'm looking for. <clears throat> Uh, level two. I'll double check. Because if they're not published, <coughs> it's not going to work. I'll just go in here. We'll go ahead and publish it real quick. Nope, it was not published. at the level one. We gotta set these up now. This will be level two or L2. There we go. So after we activate this, this will take us to level two. Here, this will take us to level three. Okay, publish that. <coughs> yeah, it's a little lengthy, I know, but just to show you guys that it works, I gotta publish the maps in order to show it off. Make sure it's still set for level one. Yep, okay. Okay. Now, <coughs> we're gonna publish levels and I'll show you how it works. First, let's get rid of that other level one. Publish, goodbye. map. Okay, so now I got two different exits here. Let's take this one. Let's take this level two. And when it loads up, it should take us to level two. level two. So let's start that up. OK. 
Come on, load up. It's not that difficult. Okay, so we're now on level two. Push this take us back to level one. at level one. <clears throat> and once level one loads up again, we'll go to level three, and then we'll go back to level one just to show you guys that it works back and forth. So you can actually set up, like, um, one hub world. And then you have different levels you can go to, and then come back to the hub world when you're done with those levels. I know the load times are a little long, I know, but that's just the way it is. And we're going to level three. Come on, load up. I'm only going to hell. Three. Push this. And it'll take us back to level one again. Okay, there we go. Back at level one. Start it up just so we're in the match, <clears throat> and I'll conclude this video. And there we go, we're back in level one. Okay. Now, this is great for when you want to um, build like one big hub world that you just want to run around in. You can have multiple exits to go to different areas. Uh, let's just take an example like a Zelda game, for instance. Like, um, like if I play Zelda 1, you have these different doorways that take you to different uh, dungeons. You can do that here with this level switch mechanic I just showed you how to use. And you can just set it up to where, okay, you walk through this doorway. And then you can have it end, load up the next lobby, and I'll take you to the next dungeon. When you go to that dungeon, you finish the dungeon, you can send you back to the hub world again, and then you can start doing more stuff. So, that's a great way to set up bigger levels and bigger games for you guys, and this is a great way to work with that. So, uh, that being said, hope you all enjoyed this, and you all take care.